So in preparing for my trip to the Smokies next week and the yellow Sally hatch going on, I needed some kind of yellow stonefly nymph. Now I know there are lots of patterns out there for this, but I decided to just sit down on the bench and see if I could come up with something that might work. So this one I'm about to tie. Is it a nymph or is it a soft hackle web fly? I don't know, neither, maybe both. I guess it depends on how you're gonna fish it. I'm probably gonna be fishing this thing as a nymph. But there's nothing that says you couldn't swing this like a wet fly. And if it doesn't work as a yellow sally nymph or a yellow stonefly for me, maybe it'll work as a general attractor pattern. But it was a fun tie, and I think it's gonna work for me, but you know, I guess we'll see in a couple of days. So there it is, just a fairly generic yellow stonefly nymph. Call it a yellow sally if you want. That's probably how I'm gonna fish it. Now this is a size 16, but it is a 3X long curve shank hook. Let's go ahead and pinch this barb. And I'm gonna use yellow thread. I'll catch it in about midpoint and take it around the start of the bend here. Next up, copper wire. This is size small. I'm gonna catch it in up front, you know, maybe a third back. And this is really just to hold the goose biots in place here in a minute. Now let's put a little wax on our thread and some yellow dubbing. I'm gonna use a wool. This is from a wool yarn, just put in my blender. I'm gonna take it up there to a little bit in front of where that wire is. Now this might be the only tricky part of the fly. Just take two goose biots right here and we'll catch it in up front with the tips aligned but we're only gonna catch it in with just a couple of wraps to, to hold it temporarily. So lay it on there where you've got them sticking out past the bend of the hook for your tail. So let's do a couple of loose wraps right here just to kind of hold that in place. And now the tricky part is wrapping these goose biots down and they're gonna point together, but we're gonna wanna try and keep them a little bit separated like a stonefly tail so and you might have to go back and and jostle them a little bit before you're done just to try to get a little bit of separation but i think we're going to be fine let's go ahead and wrap this up three or four i guess five wraps on this piece right here and actually after you get it started you can kind of back these off and then hold them in place a little bit on top of the hook as you wrap it up. Okay, when you see enough of that yellow body and then you got your goose bites on top, go ahead and catch the wire off and then we'll snip that and these excess goose bites up front. And if you need to, take your bodkin and just try to keep these tails, get a little bit of separation on them. All of these I've done today, I haven't been able to get a, a good separation, but some of them I can. Well, I think that's gonna be close enough. Let's go ahead and put some wax on our thread and then take some brown dubbing. I'm gonna use rabbit for this part. And now I'm just gonna take a small partridge feather. This one happens to be dyed brown, but I think natural will be fine. And it is gonna put some long barbs down, but that's fine. We're not gonna put a whole lot of them. Just gonna create a little tie-in point and let's catch it in right behind that thorax there. I'll fold that back, a couple extra wraps to really lock it in. And then snip this tip here. And I'm gonna take my hackle pliers and then put one, maybe one and a half wraps around right here. That's a full wrap. Let's put one more down here and catch it off on the bottom. And before I snip that, I'm gonna just go ahead and pull everything back, build my head and then put a whip finish on.
Now let's snip this excess feather right here. And if you think one and a half wraps might be too much hackle on there, just, you know, snip some of them off or, or take your pliers and tweezers and pluck a few of them out. But I think that's gonna be fine right there. I see enough of that yellow body and um, the, the tail right there could have been a little bit more, uh, gotten a little bit more separation on it right there, but I think we're gonna be fine. This is gonna be a fishable fly. So I appreciate you watching everybody. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.